Hey, ladies and gents, it is week 10 of whatever this is. I have burned through Tiger King and The Last Dance on Netflix. I think I've watched every Tarantino film there at least two or three times. And I don't know where to go next, if you're feeling like me. Well, ladies and gents, we're going to take what we learned last week with two-point perspective and we're going to do something a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more procedural, but probably, hopefully, a little bit more interesting. We're going to create a two-point perspective, three-dimensional staircase. And staircases in art are nothing new. Probably one of the most famous ones that I can think of is by M.C. Escher, who made this drawing in 1953. It's called Relativity. And you can see how he's used two-point perspective, but he's also created an optical illusion so that that staircase appears to be unending, going around and around forever. So follow the video with me, and we are going to try to make a staircase together. This particular exercise is more procedural. There are more steps than the previous ones, but we've been warming up to this, so feel free to stop the video at any time and review what we've done. Make sure, ladies and gents, to upload two photos, one photo of you holding your drawing, showing either part or all of your face, and the second drawing can be just the drawing on its own, evenly lit. Please also don't erase completely your guidelines. Outline the staircase, but let's leave those pencil guidelines in there because part of the marks for this assignment is following two-point perspective. Grab a piece of paper, put it landscape orientation. You're going to need a pencil. In this case, I'm using a slightly darker pencil just so you guys can see on the video more easily the guidelines. You may want to use a lighter pencil so we can see the guidelines, uh, but they don't necessarily get too distracting. Grab an eraser. Grab a ruler, you will need one, and if you can't find a ruler with numbers, find, you know, a book edge or, I don't know, maybe an old CD of some kind, and you can use that straight edge to create your lines. If possible, grab a Sharpie or a black marker of some kind. If you don't have one of those, you could use a colored pencil crayon or even a black ballpoint pen, something to outline your staircase, separate it from the pencil lines. Let's start with a horizon line. I'm going to draw a line near the top of the page. It's about two inches from the top. Of course, I want to make sure that my horizon line isn't tilted and it needs to be parallel to the edge of the paper. I'm going to make two VPs, little X's or dots, on each end, the left and the right. Now I'm going to take my ruler and just a little bit below the horizon line, about half an inch or so, I'm going to create a vertical line right here. And we don't want to go tilting to the left or tilting to the right. We want to keep it exactly straight up and down, parallel as best you can to the edge of the paper. This is going to be the back edge of our imaginary staircase. So I'm going to go about two and a half inches. It should look something like that. Now I am being a little bit picky about the location of this first vertical line here, because if it's too um, much to the left, then we might run out of room to build our staircases, which is, which is going to grow, you know, a little bit over here. And if this line is too long, our staircase, staircase may run out of room. So generally speaking, this is our first step. Feel free to pause the video, of course, at any time if things need to slow down for you. Now, I'm going to go to the top of this first vertical line that we drew. And I'm going to line it up with the VP. And I'm going to go a little bit past that first line. And it looks like this. I think I'm going to go for about one inch. And if you would like to keep consistent, either by eyeballing it or if you want to measure, that's fine. 
And at this point, I'm going to go a vertical line right beside this first vertical line that we drew. And again, you know, uh, I know it seems kind of weird, but we have to f almost fight the tendency to want to curve it. These lines are perfectly parallel. And I made a about an inch vertical line. I'm going to go from the bottom to the VP. Right around there. I'm going to go about an inch past to something that looks kind of like that. Now I'm going to draw a vertical line parallel to the others as best we can. I'm going with about an inch. Should look like that. Line the bottom up with your VP. I'm going to go about an inch past and it looks like that. You guessed it. Repeat process. Vertical line. Joining up with the VP. Look like that. I'm going to do one more vertical line down here. And then I'm going to join that up with the VP. It may seem a little bit weird right now, like it's not really doing anything, but eventually we will get there. I don't need that. So I'm just going to get rid of that. So this is where we should be at this point, ladies and gents. All of these angles are going to the VP on the right. All of the vertical lines are in fact vertical and they're not wavering, tilting to the left or the right. Let me show you a photograph of what I mean. If I were to say skip ahead and create an, a black outline of my staircase at this point, here's what it would look like. This would basically be the right hand side of the staircase. And you can also see that those verticals are all parallel and the angles always go to the VP. And we have to kind of fight our tendency to want to change those verticals. Sometimes what our eye sees, our mind doesn't believe. And so we have to stay consistent for this two point perspective thing to work. Now let's come back to this point. And I'm going to begin to join corners here, outside, inside, inside, blah, blah, blah. All these corners right here are going to go to the left VP. So this bottom edge right here to the left VP. Next corner to the left VP. Corner to the left VP. Repeat process. Feel free to stop the video if you want to catch up. Try to be as precise as you can, keeping the lines consistent, using the ruler, we're not just guessing. And my very last edge is the top of the very, very first line we drew, and he's going over to the left VP. All right, ladies and gents, you should be at this point at the moment. Now, through a series of vertical lines and angles going to the right VP, we are going to finish off this staircase. I'm going to put my ruler right here. And again, we want to try to keep that line vertical, keep it parallel, 
to the edge of the page, parallel to all the other vertical lines. I know I sound like I'm repeating myself, but really that's the key to keeping our two-point perspective consistent. I'm going to leave this much room on my staircase. If you want to make yours fatter or a skinnier staircase, it's up to you. This is just where I'm deciding to draw my first vertical line. Now I'm going to go angle to the right VP from the top of the line that I just drew. Moving on to the next area right here, the next corner, I'm going to go vertical, stop at the line, and then take it over to the right VP. At this point, it might seem a little odd, perhaps a little confusing, because we've got lines that are intersecting and going through one another, and it's sometimes hard to keep track of where's the staircase. But you can see what I'm doing here, right? Vertical, and then the angle goes to the VP. Vertical, angle goes to the VP. So we'll just continue that pattern all the way up to the top. There's my vertical. Here's my angle, which always goes to a vanishing point. And here's my next vertical. And I have one more line to go. Even though it's really tight, I'm going to go right to that VP. Okay, there's my finished pencil work for a three-dimensional staircase. Take your black sharpie, pencil crayon, whatever you've got, and let's enhance the three-dimensional look of our staircase so that the guidelines diminish. Now please don't erase the guidelines. We want to leave them there because this is a technical exercise and we want to check for consistency. But uh, let's make that three-dimensional staircase stand out and we're going to get something that looks like this or something close to it. Now if you put your first line even a little bit above the horizon line, you can see how you might get a staircase that looks like a little bit of a combination of below horizon line looking down, and then the top of the horizon line even looks like we're looking up in space, but it follows exactly the VP on the right and the left, it's just that the location is different. Now at this point, after you've done, or, or even, I, you know, before we do the Sharpie marker, I would just check that everything is cool with your pencil before you go to that step. So by checking to see if everything's right, here what I, here's what I mean. We want to make sure, number one, that as we look at our pencil staircase, that all of the vertical lines are parallel, like you can see in this example right here. And as we begin to draw angles that go to the VP, they will either go to the left or the right. But all of the angles, no matter what they are, are, are going to go to the left or the right. There are no exceptions. Now imagine for a moment that maybe we are going to fade the color lines and rebuild our staircase again. Here's a way of looking at it in black and white just to see the actual staircase itself from scratch. We've got our verticals that are all parallel. They're all going straight up and down at 90 degrees without exception. And then of course our angles are built in and there would be our three-dimensional staircase that's a little bit more clear. So ladies and gents, please upload two photographs. One photograph of yourself drawing the staircase in progress with part or all of your face showing. And the second photograph is more of a close-up of the final piece. Make sure that it's well lit so we can see the details. Thanks very much.